Reform is a perennial topic here in China. Uh, it seems that um, external pressure is a good way to spur reform in China, especially in recent years or months. How do you see this external influence, or actually two-way kind of exchange between China and the world, especially yeah, in, my, in my view, you know, China is, is always trying to balance a reform and on one hand and, and stability, the stability of the country on the other hand, and stability of socially, culturally, politically, economically, financially. You know, they're, they're always you know, aspiring for um, a stable you know, world. So uh, that's the tension, you know. So I will say that yes, the country and the officials in the country respond to uh, to, uh, uh, to to needs or uh, or drive for uh, reform from the outside world. But I would say even more importantly, they respond to reform from inside the country much more than from the outside world. Uh, that is a topic that is not well covered, not well understood. Uh, because clearly what uh, a lot of the media talks about is the, the, uh, the needs or the pressure by the outside world, mm -hmm. the, uh, outside of the country, you know, to, uh, to China. But I would, I would think, and it's my experience, that the internal pressures and the internal needs for reform are bigger than, than outside. So, uh, so that's what, you know, the, uh, the, the, think about the financial markets, you know, you know, everyone talks about the rest of the world is putting pressure on China to reform the financial markets. Uh, it is more important, the, the needs inside China to reform the financial markets than the outside uh, forces, because China, as the second largest economy of the world, cannot continue to be that without, without a very modern financial markets, whether it's the banking market or the, you know, the equity market or the bond market or the foreign exchange market, you know, that flexibility, that ability to allocate capital on a bottom-up basis as opposed to top-down, now that is going to be, become even more important in the future because many of the industries that China wants to promote, such as technology, consumer goods, you know, healthcare, um, a uh, you know the, the uh, consumer staples and the like, right? All of those industries.